that. Do you know what? As your you. inaugural uh, person, I'm going to give you a solid six out of ten for that, Rav. Thank, 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 thank you very and much. And if you want to speak to Rav a bit more stuff after Hero Squad, he'll be on the CBC website, which is bbc.co.uk, for us CBC, taking part in a web chat. But right now, Rav, it is time for your brand new show, episode two of Hero Squad, and they're going into they're a going cave. going down a very cold, deep, dark cave. That's all I need to know. Here you go right now. It's Hero Squad with Rav Walden. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Coming up on Hero Squad, six wannabe heroes. Facing the worst nature can throw at them. There's a new emergency crew in town. Well, this is Hero Squad. Six ordinary school kids. Their mission to learn how to save lives. But do they have what it takes to become real life heroes? The cadets are here in Buxton to join up with a Derbyshire cave rescue organisation. Their two mentors are Ralph and Bill, who between them have over 90 years caving experience. They have just two days to transform the cadets into a rescue team capable of saving two casualties from deep inside an underground cave. But only Bill seems to be here. OK, hi everyone. What we're going to do today is show you what needs to be done to rescue people who get into trouble underground. But I think before we do anything, I'm going to just get Ralph out, cos he's been in there for a long time. Oh, there's someone in there! <laughs> <laughs> he's been... What's the matter, Lewis? He's here! He's, he's here. here! He's been there all night. We thought you were coming last night. Yeah, Ralph's been there for ages. Yeah. There we go. Same morning. Hi, guys. Hi. Now we've found both our mentors, they're keen to give Derbyshire Cave Rescue's youngest ever members an A to Z of caving. <laughs> Ralph and Bill's team is responsible for over 1,000 miles of caves throughout central England. Very public. There's all sorts of things, lots of ropes, stretchers, ladders. And they've rescued over 400 people since they were formed. Training starts with one of the most important skills when caving, working with ropes and ladders. As you can imagine, lots of caves have got vertical bits in. And what we're going to do now is learn how to get up and down a fairly short drop, this is. So if we do get a shout, then we all know what to do, don't we? Mentor Ralph is looking for the cadet down. with a fearless attitude and good technique yeah, who could step up to be squad yeah. leader in a daring cave rescue. So we're going to go up the ladder onto the platform and then we're going to have sail back down again. Are we all up for that? Yes, yes, yes. yes. But the cadets aren't climbing just any old ladder. You've got to keep yourself into the ladder. You grip it from behind like that, yeah? And that's it, really. Up you go. Yeah. Okay, right. You're going to be first. Yeah. Step up to the ladder. You're going to be fit soft <laughs> and off you go. Good luck. Thirteen year old Kira's first up the five metre climb with no problems. Leading from the front is definitely not a problem for this Essex triathlete. It's learning to follow that Kira thinks she may find tough on Hero Squad. The thing I need to work on is probably hold back a bit when somebody else is team leader. Let them say what they have to say. Tomorrow's rescue will all be about teamwork. So we'll have to wait and see if Kira can put that enthusiasm to good use. Go, Kira! <laughs> back at training. Kira's conquered the climb, so now it's time to head back down. Shut up, you're putting me off! Kira, 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 Kira,
perfect touchdown. Nice work, Kira. Next up is Alex. And he's like a rat up a drain pipe. Awesome. Nimble Katie makes short work of the challenge. Whereas Lewis's style involves getting in a bit of a twist. Nice action from Lucy on the way up. But not quite so cool on the way down. Last but not least, it's sure footy dandy. He gets in a bit of a pickle at the top. but makes amends with a day's fastest descent. When I was going up the ladder, it was a bit spinny, so um, I was a bit dizzy when I got up there. So, but apart from that, it was amazing. Great work, Hero Squad, but there's no time for a rest. Working with ropes and ladders is a major part of tomorrow's challenge. Can the cadets take their new skills into the wet and dark of a cave rescue? Bill's next training session takes the cadets into a cave-like basement to show them just how much tougher being a hero becomes when you turn out the lights. It's dark, it's dingy and it's very, very eerie. And our cadets are going to have to work their way through an assault course carrying that stretcher with a hero squad casualty on board. Wow, wish them luck. First to come face to face with hero squad casualty Lisa are Alex, Katie and Lewis. Their challenge is to work with the cave rescue team to manoeuvre her through a tricky series of turns whilst Bill and I keep tabs on them from upstairs. All we're going to do is be a bit of muscle to help you lift, but we'll do whatever you tell us to do from now on, OK, guys? No, no, you're, you're in, charge. in charge. The first place that we've got to move, Lisa, is through under here, OK, guys? Do you think they're going to find this tough? Go yes, because they've now got to lift Lisa's dead weight. They can slide her. This bit's fairly easy. There are the bits where they've got to actually lift her off over things and into things and make sure she's safe. In a real-life cave rescue, it's common for the casualty to be unable to walk out. So the cadets need to show strength and communication to prove they can do this for real in tomorrow's underground challenge. Everybody through, by the way? Yep. Oh, They're safely through the first obstacle. But around a tight corner lies a real head-scratcher. They have to get Hero Squad casualty Lisa through this pipe, but it's a very tight fit. This isn't very easy here. There's not a lot of room between the end of the tunnel and the wall. Lewis and Alex must protect Lisa's head whilst Katie guides her feet into the tunnel. Slip, there. Slip onto there. Just about got her feet in. Good strength from Katie to get that stretcher through the two metre pipe. You're halfway through now, come on. Right, her feet are out. Come on, Katie. Head out. Head out. Brilliant work from the cadets. They've safely completed the course. Excellent. Job done, back to the start. Yeah. Next to take the strain is Kira, Lucy and Andy. One cadet who has no fears about heading underground is 12-year-old Lucy from County Armagh. I think I'd be OK with going down into the caves because I've been down one before, potholing. Lucy thinks she knows what it takes to help any casualties she finds underground. I think a hero needs to be someone who is brave and they can rescue someone without getting into panic. 
and they'd be quite caring as well. I'm in possession. At the dreaded tunnel, Lucy's got the chance to put those skills into practice. Are you guys all right? Yeah, I'm just balancing the stretcher on my head at the moment. We're nearly, we're nearly there. Okay, we're in the, we're in the pipe. Okay, gently. Gently. You got her, Lucy? Is Jim Pack here? Another great job from the cadets. Keep handy. Yep. All six have passed one of their toughest training tests yet. We're used to being in the open and lots of space and it being light. So and, um, we, we have to make quite quick decisions as well because we need to get her out. It's the end of their training. It's been tough, but the cadets now know they can work safely at heights and manoeuvre a casualty in cramped, dark conditions vital skills for what lies ahead tomorrow. But which cadet has impressed the most and will become squad leader? Oh, <laughs> nice. Hi, guys. Look at the state of you. You messy lot. You enjoy today? Yes. Good. I think we all did extremely well. I agree. I'm very impressed. They overcome the fear. Very, very good. So, based on the good work that you've all shown today, the one person who we think's just excelled that little bit more and deserves to be squad leader for tomorrow is you, Kira. Well done. There you go. Good effort today, Kira. Determination and great leadership has landed Kira the top job. Before they head off, Ralph finally lets the cadets have a go in his artificial cave. Andy, how tall are you? The longest yeah. person in the world. <laughs> I'm really excited about tomorrow. Sometimes they say that I'm quite bossy and a bit over, like, over-leading everyone. So I hope I won't be like that tomorrow. Early morning in the beautiful Derbyshire Dales. The cadets think they are on their way to a local showcase. Well, I'm not sure if the guys smell a rat that today's no normal day, but one thing's for sure, where they're going is no show cave. Let's get this rescue underway. A few miles up the road is Bagshaw Cavern, a popular cave which was discovered by lead miners over 200 years ago. Today, Hero Squad cavers Roy and Ron are heading underground to look for new hidden passageways. Deep inside, the cavers come to a dangerous deep hole known as the dungeon. Always one to take a risk, Roy decides to take a closer look. Get help, quick! Hero squad caver Roy's fallen four metres into the dungeon and injured his leg. His pal Ron dashes to the surface and calls the Hero Squad for help. Yeah, my friend is, is, is falling in Bagshaw Cavern and he's injured his leg. Right on cue, here come the cadets. Cadets, good morning. Katie, stay there. Guys, I've just had a call from Bill. There's a rescue situation happening just up the road in another cave and he needs your help. Kira, you're in charge? Yeah. Let's go. After his emergency call, Hero Squad Caver Ron has gone back underground, but he's got lost in a very narrow section of the cave. Hell! The cadets don't know it yet, but they now have a double rescue on their hands. Mentor Bill and the team are on site, ready with the rescue vehicle that's going to be squad leader Kira's office. Come on in, guys, quickly, gather round. Come on, Andy, in you come. Right, there's a situation in a cave just down there. Kira, you're in charge, remember, and you're going to have to dish out roles to the rest of your team. When we know what... As squad leader, Kira will stay on the surface to coordinate the rescue. Big responsibility. Kira, we're going to need to send a reconnaissance party down. A couple of your people, a couple of ours. So who are you going to pick for that? I'm going to pick Lucy and Lewis to go down there. 
I've set the roles because Lucy is very good at first aid, so I sent her down to the casualty, and Lewis is quite small, so he'll be able to get through the gaps quite easily. Safety gear and waterproof suits on, advance party Lucy and Lewis head into the cave. With mentor Ralph by their side, their job is to find the casualty, assess him and set up communications to the surface, where squad leader Kira is organising the remaining cadets. So they've just gone down. One person who's definitely not unhappy with his job is Andy. Kira's asked him to man the radio link to the team underground. And that's going to mean a fair bit of waiting around. <laughs> Underground, Lucy and Lewis are 20 minutes into their mission through the dark and wet cave. <laughs> These caves regularly flood, so they're lucky it's only up to their knees. We're getting shallow and I keep going. Like real rescuers in an emergency, the cadets soon forget their wet feet as they head deeper underground. They are now 300 metres from the entrance. So the fearsome dungeon looms into view. This is where Hero Squad Caver Ron has fallen. Can I have fallen down there? It looks like some light down there as well, doesn't it? Is that the dungeon down there? Yeah. Hello? Are you dying there? They've found the Hero Squad casualty. Are you hurt? I've hurt my ankle. Right, OK. You're going to have to hang on for a little while because we need to get some more people down here. Is that OK? Come here, please. Control, control. This is Kevra Lewis. Over. Lewis can now send the first message to Andy at the surface. This is Kevra Andy. Please proceed with the information. Over. You can't get a mobile phone signal underground. So they're using a hayphone, which can transmit directly through the 35 metres of rock to the surface. OK, the first part is there is a man who's fallen down a hole and he has hurt his ankle. Everything received over. Two more people to come down, a stretcher, a first aid kit. Over. All received out. Cave Akira, this is Cave Randy. Andy now relays the message to squad leader Kira. And a communicator. Over. She knows Lewis and Lucy urgently need help to get the hero squad casualty out of the dungeon. Alex, you're going to be a communicator. Yeah. Katie, you're going to go down and give them the stretch of the first aid kit. And, and like she's relishing getting the rest of her team and me moving. Okay, okay, come on, you say. Time's ticking. Come on, Are you nearly finished? Yeah. Come on, Rob. Time's ticking. Right. Come on, heroes. Lucy, can you see the person on the box? Yeah. It's really deep down there. Back at the rescue site, 12 year old Lucy is ready to go over the edge of a very slippery rock face above a four metre fall. Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent, that was. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, nice and steady. In training, she struggled with the abseil. So now, more than ever, she needs to hold her nerve. Lucy touches down next to mentor Ralph and hero squad casualty Roy. Great work. Amid all the drama, the cadets underground have forgotten about the second missing caver, but not squad leader Kira. Caver Andy, Caver Andy, this is Caver Kira. Can you meet, please? Remind the cadets that um, they're also looking for the man who called the 999 call. Over. Roger. I'm quite worried about that second man now because he could possibly on his own injured and we don't know anything about it and we can't find him. We need to actually have a search, a second search down below when we was only expecting one search to happen. Twenty minutes after leaving squad leader Kira, the 12-year-olds Alex and Katie arrive at the rescue site. 
35 metres underground. Right, Lewis, what's happening? Um, well, our casualty is down this big hole here, yeah. and Lucy's down there with him. Okay. But the first informant has probably gone to look for help and gone missing. Okay. So Katie's going to help with some other cave rescue to go and look for him. And if you get any news, who's going to let the surface know? Alex, he's underground communication. Gotcha. Run, can you hear me? Run, can you hear me? So are you in here, Run? With plan in place, Katie's now got her moment to prove she can cut it as a real caver. With three miles of passageway ahead of her, finding Hero Squad caver Ron is going to need huge courage. Anything yet, Katie? You hearing anything? No, I'm hearing. Nothing yet, okay. Ron! Are you in here? Can you see this all, Ron? In the dungeon, Lewis is alongside Lucy treating Hero Squad casualty Roy. Hey, Brandy, this is Cave Alex. Whilst on comms, Alex updates the surface. Cave okay, here, this is Cave Randy. They haven't located um, the man who's called 999 yet, but the second rescue party have arrived. Message all received. Out. This is so nerve wracking now. It's just like, you don't know what's happening down there, and it's only like this that you're listening yeah. to everything. Back underground, Katie is 200 metres away from the main rescue in her hunt for missing Hero Squad caver Ron. I can hear him. Ron! Suddenly, Katie hears Ron's whistle. But getting to him involves a scary, narrow crawl. You're going to have to shimmy through there, use your training, don't panic, and get him out. Good luck. The space Katie's fitting through is just half a metre wide and two metres long. I'm coming. I'm here, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm here. She's never been caving before, but does it. Brave work. You OK? I'm just a bit cold. OK, are you he's found the first informant, Ron. He's safe, he's well, he's just a bit cold, and now she's getting him out. Great work. Come on, Katie. Well done. Keep talking to me, Paul. You do really well. One hero squad casualty rescued. Still one to go. It might be a bit tighter, but we need to do this so you're secure, OK? Two hours into the rescue, and casualty Roy is now in his stretcher, ready to be pulled up out of the dungeon. Katie has led the other casualty Ron to safety. He's got no injuries, but he's just really cold. But she and Alex can't put their feet up because Lucy and Lewis need some more muscle for their treacherous stretcher lift. OK, Lucy, we're ready up here. OK. Stop falling. Lucy's strong commands protect the hero squad casualty as he's slowly lifted up the four-metre rock. They've done it. Caver Roy is safely out of the dungeon. Well done. Well done, everyone. Lucy follows up the scary wire ladder. Major pressure as it starts to twist, but she remembers her training and holds her nerve. Lewis follows right behind her. Lucy can now work with Katie to see if Caver Roy is able to put weight on his injured foot. Is that okay? Yeah. Is yeah. that okay there? Can you follow me? Yeah. That's it, Katie. Keep okay. telling him what's going on. Okay. So you're going to get sitting down, down there. Now, okay? you Great work, cadets. Both Hero Squad cavers are able to get out of the cave on foot. Alex updates the cadets on the surface. Caver Andy, Caver Andy, this is Caver Alex. We, uh, we have lifted out the injured casualty. 
and uh, we've taken him out of the stretcher and he's able to walk up to the surface. Or received out. At the exit, there's nothing squad leader Kira can do but wait. The exhausted cadets have to get through one final perilous journey to the surface. 20 minutes later, they arrive through the gloom. After four hours underground, the squad can celebrate. So proud of you lot. I'm so proud. Big hug. Big hug. Big hug. Big hug. I love it. I think. Oh, so oh, sorry. <laughs> this rescue has had it all. The cadets have completed a double underground rescue, relying on their cops. Cave okay, Randy, Cave Randy, this is Cave Akira. Teamwork and sheer determination. All you have is that one little spotlight on the top of your hat. So imagine like if you're a casualty and your light's gone out, it's you can't even see your hand right in front of your face. I think Kira did really well as team leader because she gave the right jobs to the right people. I think everybody did a really good job all together. They were just so mature, so committed to the task. You know, you couldn't fault them at all. They got loads of enthusiasm, which oh, is also good. Yeah, they're they're really, really keen on everything they do. The Hero Squad transformation from cadets to cavers is complete. But which ones have shone brightest as Hero of the Day? Well done for today. You rescued the casualty, found the first informant, got him out as well. Enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. Hard one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Overall, I'm impressed with everybody, both yesterday and today done brilliantly. So the time has come to award hero of the day. The treat will be a visit to an ice cream factory. So the hero of the day we have decided on this occasion should be Lucy and Katie. Well done. Katie's brave solo rescue and Lucy's brilliant work in the dungeon have earned them the top prize. Both have shown bravery and determination to get the casualties out. Yeah, that's good. No. Can you... Amazing, yeah, I really enjoyed that. We were down there for a long time, but it didn't seem like that, so I'm really happy that we got to do that. Well, I find that the rescue really inspired me and made me want to do it more. Well, I'm going to down there and it's really, really dark as well. And this bit was probably when we got to abseil down the, um, the holding at the castle day. Coming up on Hero Squad, the cadets will be tested to the limit on a car accident rescue. Will they be able to cut a Hero Squad casualty from a car? Find out next time. Do you have what it takes to be a hero? Could you rescue people from stormy seas or fly through the skies to save lives? Well, head on over to the CBBC Games page and play the all-new Hero Squad Rapid Response game and become a hero today. And the highest scoring player will be crowned Hero of the Week. This half term, it's a massive invasion on CBBC. CBBC invaded! Starts Saturday from 7 on the CBBC channel.